Here we go, down power line. Got something I want to show you guys. Now I told you we had that 50 mile an hour winds yesterday. Or two days ago. Let me show you what it did to this building down here. I know the GoPro is not going to get it. Man, I'd like to go riding that shit, but I just know the cops would be all over my ass. I think it's this building right here, this green one. Yeah, next one, next block. There you go. It peeled the friggin' roof off that son of a bitch. Welcome to the Great Plains. That's why those metal roofs here don't sell too well. Mid 40s, my gear's too hot. Gotta keep moving. Well, there's another update on the uh, Mahan shooting. Turns out the assailant was a convicted felon. And they don't check records on your, they do a background check, but I guess they don't check uh, criminal records on the toy card. So yeah, he was, uh, Convicted of manslaughter. From what I read, he shot his friend in the head. Hey, big dog. He shot his friend in the head. He got charged with manslaughter, got convicted of manslaughter, got sentenced to four years, and he was out in, I think it was 14 months, because of all his time served at the, in the pretrial. But they still don't have a motive. I don't think any... I don't think they're going to find out any motive. Because if he... Well, he wasn't having a domestic disturbance with anyone on the ship. Nobody on the ship knew him. There's no ties to him. Um, they've already ruled out terrorism. So he's not affiliated with Al-Qaeda or anything. So 
what what does that leave it? I mean, if he was uh, if he was a sailor that got kicked out or some bullshit like that, they would already know that. So, I have no idea what they're gonna what they're gonna figure out as uh, as a deal. And they actually came out and said it wasn't premeditated. Now, how they determine that, I don't know. Spur of the moment thing.